Feliz Año Nuevo 2019. Welcome to Peta C. I'm Carla Adams with Open Doors Panama. And today I want to talk to you about the five New Year's resolutions for Peta C. Panama. So for this year, 2019, I have a few things that I think are going to really be exceptional resolutions for Peta C. The number one thing is our roads. Ojalá are getting fixed. Uh, thank God we've got some brand new roads through the center of Peta C. And the, M the MOP has earmarked a budget to continue that process all the way down to Cañas. This is going to be huge for Pedesi, for our tourism, and also this increases the collaboration between Pedesi and Playa Venal. Um, and I think that's great not just for tourism, but for those of us who live here and like to use the services of both, both locations. That also opens up the Playa Venal Cañas area as a great place to look at for a living maybe on a more uh, permanent basis than just as a vacation home. So I think that's fantastic for Pedicee and I'm excited to see that come to fruition. And uh, that's, our, that's our number one New Year's resolution. Um, I have this little prop for you. Do you see this picture? This was my, my favorite post about the road crisis here. Uh, Ruben Cordova posted this, and it's a picture of a guy uh, jumping into a pothole um, going fishing. I think that was, that was really cute. But that's not going to be a problem anymore, thank God. Um, our second thing is the school. Yes, the Oxford School. I got another little prep for you. You may have seen this icon on Facebook last year. Well, this year the school is actually opening up. And our kids are actually already attending and they are in the upper grade levels doing an online internet version with a live teacher in the classroom. So starting in March, they're going to open up live classes for grades pre-K all the way to five, and those will have teachers in each classroom. And then for grades six through 12, they have kind of a hybrid approach going on where there's live uh, education and online education. So. This is a huge, huge thing for Pedasi to come to fruition this year and a huge answer to prayer as well for a lot of us who live here and for people who want to live here and couldn't because there wasn't a school. Um, I think that um, we're going to see some change in diversity here now in Panama, in Pedasi, because you're going to start to see more families, um, not just foreigners, but I think we're going to start seeing some Panamanian families that live in the city. Maybe they're tired of dealing with traffic and the congestion and the irritation of being in an overcrowded area come back to the roots here to Pedasi and uh, so I think we're going to start seeing both the retirees which this is a top retirement destination and um, for many reasons but also you're going to start seeing a younger crowd here and that's a good thing it's a good thing to have a, a, a definite mix of uh, diversity um, let me see the third thing I think is going to improve is business and in some ways, I think that's a byproduct of the school coming because a lot of the people that are going to run these businesses are um, families or younger people that may have children or may want to have children in the future. And they want to know that they can stay in the area where they start the business. Um, and of course, to have a successful business, you have to have enough clientele. So the more people actually start moving here, the more amenities we're going to start seeing. I get calls frequently from people saying, I want to move to Peta C. What can I do to earn income? Uh, what kind of a business can I start? What kind of needs do they have? And to me, even if these people don't arrive next week, it's an encouragement because I feel that um, pretty soon we're going to start seeing people come living here by choice because they want to be here and maybe starting some businesses that don't make total sense on paper uh, because the numbers, the population isn't here for it, but they're gonna do it because they wanna live here and they're gonna put their heart and soul into these businesses and for that reason, um, it's gonna make Pedasi a better place. And the more and more Pedasi is a better place for more people, well, then uh, we all benefit. Uh, not just the younger crowd, but the retirees who have uh, purchased property here too. They're going to have more things to do and more places to shop and eat and enjoy. And I think that's going to be great uh, for Pedicee. 
Let's see, the number four thing um, is real estate market stabilization. Yay, this is one of my favorites because I'm in real estate, yes. So we're talking about, <coughs> excuse me, real estate market stabilization. I'm already seeing it, guys. Uh, when, when we first came here, all I heard about was, oh, it takes two years to sell a house. Well, pff, who wants to buy a house in an area where it takes two years to sell a house? Unless you're really forward thinking or you get a really bottom barrel fire sale deal. Okay, but now we're starting to see that a home that is priced competitively and is well marketed and is in good condition, we're starting to see a lot more demand for those kind of properties. And not just at the lower price point, but also at the higher luxury price points, which is absolutely wonderful. The more we see this take place, the more urgency I see with people who are here renting and maybe they've been kind of on the fence, those people are starting to get off the fence. And I think that's a great thing because we're gonna start seeing a clear out of old inventory and hopefully we can get some new inventory that you haven't seen yet and that's always fun. Um, another thing with the real estate market stabilization, I'm noticing that some of the HOAs are really, uh, that were problem areas here and maybe cause some concern for buyers they're really getting serious about getting their act together. So, uh, for example, um, we've got some good things going on in Costa Pedesi. I have been talking to owners over um, at the Ocean Lofts. They're, they're trying to get their situations worked out. And I'm really impressed with what's going on at Andromeda. Uh, and thank you to Jason and everybody who's working together to make Recess Del Mar available to available to the public. I know our family has enjoyed using the facilities and dining at the restaurant. It's really a wonderful place and I'll tell you what I really like about it is um, when, when they open it up you feel welcome and when you walk into the community, you drive through the community, you really realize, wow, you know, this is a paradise and why wouldn't I want to live here? So by opening up the, the restaurant to people that don't necessarily live there, I think it's a good thing for the community. And because it's a good thing for the community, I think it's going to benefit the real estate also. Uh, okay, <clears throat> well that was number four. Now we need number five. Okay, really quick one. What is on everybody's list of New Year's resolutions? Uh, well, it's weight loss. So we're all going to lose weight here because we've got a new gym opening this year and yes it's a real gym with real equipment and real mirrors and a real air conditioning and I think that's just um, that's just great because now Pettacy is just like everybody else we're all gonna lose weight and that's a great uh, New Year's resolution to have well I've kept you way too long but if you're really interested in Pettacy I hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to our channels like our Facebook page and never feel ashamed to send me a message um, if I can help you in your search for real estate in Pedesey. I'm Carla Adams with Open Doors Panama. Thank you very much and have a great 2019.